So on a recent video, I did how to record for one hour on the Xbox series. I had a comment about OneDrive and they asked me to give them a tutorial and a beginner's kind of guide on how it all works, what it is. Well, this one's for you. Join the fight with no So yeah, as said in the intro, if I get any comments, you know, I don't make these videos to trust to try and get views. It's not about that. It's about helping people out, proving I'm the elite older gamer. If people choose watch, great. If they don't, that's life. But if I get a comment of someone asking for help who subscribes to the channel, I'm going to follow it up. So I might even make a video just for one person because it's the way I am. If you ask a favor, I'm going to do it. And they gave some really nice feedback about the way I articulate things and try and break things down into simple meanings and go through things methodically because a lot of people put things out on YouTube and don't give you the real insight that they need or don't give you the basics sometimes and expect you to know everything. And sometimes people don't and you have to break things down simply and that's fine. If you don't know something, it's not simple, is it? So this is about OneDrive linked to the Xbox. And the easiest thing to do I'm going to share my screen of the next box and we're going to show that rather than me rumbling on, okay? So right now, I'm on the uh, games store and particularly the app section of an Xbox. So we're on the search bit, entertainment apps, apps for gamers as we move around, apps for gamers over here and little windows. But if you go around this, um, you won't find the OneDrive in there, which by the way, I did a video before, which was like a mini rant on how to make Xbox better. The, the games element in the store of Xbox is actually really good. The apps bit is garbage, in my opinion. It just is. Some of these are so outdated and some just nobody out there can use. Come on, surely, do you? But anyway, we got so top entertainment apps, uh, all apps, whatever you want to do. So it's not in there. There's no OneDrive app in here, which probably would have been easier if it was, but hey. Considering it's Microsoft, you think it would be a no-brainer, but I don't make the rules. So there's a number of ways you can do this and navigate this problem. And you can you don't even need a phone, but I'm going to show you both phone and Xbox, okay? So here's where we need to go. So what is OneDrive? First of all, OneDrive is simply a cloud saving function. In fact, in really its early iterations, it was actually called SkyDrive, but Sky UK had a saying in that. By the way, Sky, you're falling off beyond belief. You're holding on to Sky Sports, but that eventually will go then. You're in re real in trouble. But anyway, it was called Sky Drive, changed to OneDrive. Why was it called that? Because it's up there being saved where we can't see. So a cloud-based function is essentially see it as a hard drive somewhere that you don't have access to, that doesn't actually exist. It's saved somewhere in the ether we don't know. So you can save things rather than take up space of memory on your hard drive of your phone, of your console, of your PC, you can save them to a cloud, right? So that's why it's called that. So the benefits of this are in the Xbox, it can be, become real useful because uh, a video that did well ages ago was memory on your Xbox and how to expand it, review of the memory card and all that good stuff. But I particularly use, for a lot of my clips, I use OneDrive. So let's go back to our screen, okay? Then I'm gonna go over to uh, recent captures, okay? And then see down the bottom here, we got show all, right? Now, show all is where you save all your stuff. You've got the Xbox network. By the way, why does that exist? That was originally, so you save clips on your wherever. Forget where they're saved for a minute, but you save a clip on your Xbox of some gameplay. And the idea when this came out was, I can save it and just ping it to someone else on my Xbox friends list. Check out this clip. I just destroyed people on Fortnite or whatever. Yeah. No one's going to use that. You're going to use social media anyway. So I don't know why it's still there. Not many people can exist, you know, use that, but it exists, whatever. Um, you've got the Xbox console. And then you've got, for me, external drive. Because I have the USB memory stick in. Again, another plug, but it's just factual. You go in there and check that video, how to turn your Xbox into a PC or PC Lite, as I like to call it. It will show you why I have a USB stick in there for memory. But essentially, it doesn't matter. You're going to pick one of these options and you're going to have clips that you saved. Now, your Xbox is going to be saved to 
an email address, an associated account. You're going to have a Hotmail account, the email we're talking about to log in to your Xbox, a Windows Live ID of some sort. That can be outlook.com.uk, Hotmail. It can be any of these, right? So you're going to have a registered, um, you know, address to play Xbox anyway. Now, what that will also have with it, because it's a Windows Live ID, is a OneDrive account. And you want to use that same login that you used to get into your Xbox to get over the OneDrive app on your phone or just Google OneDrive. You'll find it and you can log into the OneDrive and it will be the associated account with your Xbox. That means if I take this Capcom Fighting Collection 2, click the three here. Let's break it down. Click the three here. Okay, on your controller, you're going to get this option and you're going to get upload to OneDrive. So you're going to send this clip in the ether to a cloud saved function namely the one you have saved it with uh, linked to your xbox account, xbox account now you might not get this you know you might oh i've never logged into onedrive so where's that go well it just goes into a onedrive somewhere until that gets full i think the memory on it is actually one terabyte for free roughly around there then there's pay scales you can go if you want to increase your memory but we don't need that if you look after your onedrive account you know you can delete stuff out of it and keep the free option there's enough storage space in there for me personally unless you're a streamer or something then you'll want a lot more but anyway you've got delete or you've got upload to onedrive so if we upload that to onedrive so we've clicked on upload to onedrive and you can see there top right hand corner you see it says uploading capture one of one ignore the percentage it doesn't normally sometimes it goes up sometimes it'll go naught to 100 right depending on how big the clip is now what that is doing is pinging this clip and you must leave your xbox on for a bit now if you turn your xbox off now it won't work because the xbox needs a bit of time to upload that clip depending on you know how big the video file is to the onedrive so this what clip we're looking at is two minutes long okay so because it's two minutes you know it's not gonna be that long you're looking at five minutes or so if i had an hour clip you're going to need to leave your Xbox on for a while to make sure it all gets uploaded uh, to the to the OneDrive in full. So if you're going to upload any clips or a bulk of clips, then just leave it on there uploading. OK, so that's a, a nice to know and need to know. Um, now, once you've done this, you need to go and log into OneDrive. So you can go via an app on your phone. Uh, you can go via the web and go through Google or whatever. Find OneDrive log into it with the same details you use for your xbox account okay you will find your onedrive and you will find your video uploads in here then from then on when they're all there you can do with them essentially what you need to do uh, you can download them onto your phone you can share them elsewhere you can share them via social media that is why me personally i find it easiest on my phone although if you don't have a phone like well, most people do don't they but just out there if you don't there is also other options you can do. So, you know, you can go through the web on your Xbox. You could go through Edge browser, which is a garbage browser, but still it's what they use. And again, that video shows you how I use my Xbox like a PC earlier. And I use a keyboard and mouse with my Xbox, but you know, you can do it like that. And essentially all you need to do is log into that and you've got options to click on each clip, same as you do from here, download them, send them somewhere else, whatever you need to do right and that's pretty much it now what you also get is once your upload is complete you get this screen okay so you get upload complete you can continue we'll finish transferring in the background this may take a few hours depending on how many captures are being backed up you'd have to send loads for it to be a few hours okay it's, it's never going to be a few hours um, but that's what it says and on the right hand side there is a QR code OneDrive app, Microsoft, scan the QR code to get the app. So that is quite simply, put your, put your phone on, put it on camera mode, literally hold the camera over that QR code and you will get a little link pop up on your screen. Click that and it will take you to your associated, you know, whether you're on Android or OIS or whatever, it's gonna take you to whatever you can. If you can get it, the app for OneDrive. I find the app easiest. I have the app on my phone and I'll put it on the screen how it works. It breaks it down into folders. It's really easy. You can go through the web option if you like, but you can scan that. It just tells you how to get the app. Okay. 
So that's all it's going to do. It's not going to take you exactly to yours, but it's also got the link at the bottom there in full if you'd rather type it in. Click OK there. Now you just remember which ones have gone. So I've got a lot of clips in here, mainly because I've been absolutely whooping ass on this game, by the way. What? What you need to do is then just remember what you've uploaded versus not uploaded, okay? So for me, I would personally now delete this one, all right? Because I know it's on my OneDrive. I don't really need it on here. Um, I'm happy with that, okay? So that's it. Uh, that's all you need to do. That's your basics. Now, <clears throat> advantages to OneDrive. It all links seamlessly. Obviously, your Xbox Live account will be a Windows uh, ID, as it's called. That's just a phrase for what Microsoft used for it. It's going to be linked to a number of things. More, you'll have your email address on your phone, link to this account, or the app for that. Get Outlook app. There's your email done. Get the OneDrive app. It's much easier with an app. You can do it through the web, but it's so much easier on an app on your phone. Leave it always signed in. Job done. You've got all your clips when you need them. Send them around. Um, that's about it. That's all the basics you need to know. Now, it would be so much easier if there was a OneDrive app on the Xbox, right? But check this out. Check this out. So if we type in Really? Really? And you wonder why I had a rant on that video. And by the way, I had some comments on that message. Oh no, you're wrong, it's amazing. Come on, dudes. No results found for a Microsoft store. <laughs> right? Ah, anyway. Uh, that's it, you know, there, it would be easy if it was on here because you'd do it all from one place, but as I said, it is what it is. That's all you need to know. Basically, you ping clips to a cloud and then you download them from somewhere else if you like. That's the basics of OneDrive and how it works. Remember to go into your OneDrive every so often and empty it out. Delete the files in there because eventually your Xbox won't upload them because it will just basically say, your OneDrive's full, I can't put any more in there and it'll stop uploading clips. So every so often, delete it from your OneDrive once you no longer need the clips. Keep it as clear and concise as you can, and that way you can always upload clips from your Xbox if you want to do that and share them via other means. Uh, for me, it's just an easy way. I usually, if I'm doing console clips, I'll obviously record like I'm recording now, link in my screen recorder um, from my phone, and just record both as I'm playing something at the same time. And that's it. And then you just tally the two up. That's all you got to do. But OneDrive, decent. You know, I heard the PlayStation's much easier and much better and gives you options. But look, I'm an Xbox kid. We've been through this. <laughs> We've been through this. I'll be here till the thing dies. Xbox for life till the thing's useless. And it ain't getting far off. Nah, it's not that bad. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.